Spending money, man. Spending money. You know what they say? It takes money to make money. But you make more money if you don't spend all the money you make. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Plenty Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Hey, hope y'all are having a great day. It's actually my second video of the day. Um, it's Thursday here. Uh, you know, you'll get this maybe over the weekend if I don't get lazy and forget to put videos out. Uh, got a lot of small jobs that I'm doing, so I'm kind of... Uh, you know videoing them one at a time so that ends up making a lot of videos but anyway uh, my last video I guess it was the last video I try to do these in order but sometimes like something I really want to get out I might move it ahead so anyway my plan is to put this out after the last video last video I was having some trouble with uh, white lightning um with the uh, with the, with the uh, uh, leaking water out the water pump, I think I, I don't really know. Uh, but right now, Tractor Supply is showing a toolbox in stock, so I'm fixing to run up here and see what they got. I mean, it's like four hundred dollars, but it's a low profile. It's a black, which is what I want, matte finish. Um, and to be honest, I need one for the truck anyway, because I'm always sticking stuff in the back, even. Uh, you know, going out doing lawn stuff, uh, if, if, especially if I don't have the trailer with me. I mean, I got a toolbox on the trailer, but, uh, you know, for like keeping my impacts, putting stuff in the truck that I wouldn't put in the lawn trailer, and instead of just throwing it in the truck, it'd be nice to have the trailer. So, um, anyway, that's the plan. I really don't want to spend 400 and something dollars. I mean, 8% sale tax here, so it'll be, you know, $432, I guess. So. Anyway, I'm going to go see what they got. Now, if they have a smaller one that just sits in here and doesn't go over the edges of the bed, I might end up doing that because I have been considering something like that that I could probably take in and out. Uh, but there again I'm not sure what they got and I got some jobs that I need to do and I want to just go ahead and put the box on here and be done I thought about putting a toolbox on the other trailer and then you know getting Elro to drive his truck and uh, but and, and which I need a toolbox on the other trailer in all honesty because we throw stuff in the back of it all the time and I don't like doing that and then it gets rained on your tools get wet and rusted and all that kind of stuff. I need me a six by 12 enclosed trailer to do these other projects and stuff with, but because, you know, I, I'm primarily doing lawn care, you know, I and I could use that trailer for lawn care, but I know I'm not going to if I buy it, because if I buy it, I'm gonna put shelves in it, and I'm gonna do all that stuff, and then you're not gonna be able to get a lawnmower in it, so. Um, That's what I'm dealing with, so anyway. Spending money, man, spending money. You know what they say? It takes money to make money. But you make more money if you don't spend all the money you make. <laughs> uh, one day I'm gonna start hoarding some of this money, man. But anyway, I'm one of them. I, I like to have what I need to work with, you know. Can I make do without it? Yeah. But I also don't want to go somewhere and, you know, have my stuff in the back of the truck and a thunderstorm come in and it pours down an inch of rain in 20 minutes and I'm driving back home and all of my stuff's getting soaking wet. Uh, you know. All right, they got a lot of options in here. Uh, I don't know if that will sit between my fenders or not. That wouldn't be a bad option right here. Of course, there's another $50 or something like that. I don't know if I've looked at that one. There's 
one's definitely bigger, bigger than this one, and, and it doesn't set over the fenders. This one's three ninety nine. I think that's four something. I've been like four forty nine or somewhere in that neighborhood. That one's three ninety nine over here, which is just like it, but it's a it's not a matte finish. Now the thing I do like about this one, or even that one, is the fact that you could uh, you can take them out of the truck, you know. I'm gonna get one of these down and look at it. I don't know. Which I guess if it sat down in the truck, I could get that shiny finish right there too. I guess it'd really matter. Hmm. Oh, so this is a silver, and this is considered a gold, I guess because of the, something different about it. Anyway, I ain't done a lot of research, as you can tell. I just come looking for a toolbox. It's one of those uh, impulsive buys. <laughs> I do like the fact, though, this one, see, I could take it out and stick it in any truck, and it would fit. If I get that other one, I'm stuck with it. You know, but I don't know how much this is going to set up over the back of my truck. I measured it earlier, but I can't remember now. All right, that's what I got. I'll tell you why in a minute. Let me show you something, though. You see that little damaged spot? And that little spot. And there's one more somewhere. Let me tell y'all about them. All right, let's talk about those couple of little specks. Now these are small, man. They are small. And I'm gonna beat this toolbox up. I mean, my truck's got some dents in it. I work out of this thing, okay? If you look at my mowers, they don't look new very long. I know some people keep them polished and all that kind of stuff. I keep, I keep, I try to keep build up off of mine because, uh, you know, I don't want, uh, you know, I don't want something that's going to set the belts on fire or tear the belts up or, or, you know, put undue strain on the pulley system under the deck or that kind of stuff. But look, I keep air filters clean and all that, but as far as the, the mower itself, hey, that, that they work horses, man. Anyway, back to these imperfections, which aren't that bad. Uh, I didn't even see it back there where it was dark. Got up to the register, I saw him. I asked the girl at the register. I said, look, never hurts to ask. Uh, do y'all knock anything off for this? I was gonna buy it anyway. Didn't matter, okay? Uh, but it never hurts to ask, and that's, that's what I wanna talk about. It never hurts to ask, all right? Um, so the manager come up there and she looked at it and she said, yeah, just give him 10% off. So that was 40. That was forty something dollars off because they gave me temper. I got the I got the twenty dollars for the two mounts that I had to get because it didn't come with mounts. <laughs> uh, and so you know, I mean, it's uh, it's it's forty. I think she gave me forty something off. She said you say forty something dollars. I was like, okay, great, you know. Um, but. And it's all because I just asked the question, you know. I didn't say, oh, this thing got a bunch of dings in it. You know, I'm not going to buy it or, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's got dings in it. But I'm not worried about that. I'm going to tear it up or, uh, you know, just, I just ask. And I say 40 something dollars. So, you know. Now, why did I end up, I talked about getting the other one. Why did I end up going with this one? Well, I got to thinking about it. I got to thinking, man, I've already got a really short bed on this truck, and I thought, you know, if, if I don't, uh, if I don't, uh, I won't have any room to slide anything, like eight foot boards with a tailgate down, I mean, I wouldn't hardly have any room if I had a box sitting in there that took up a foot and a half. That's my beeper, don't worry, I ain't running over nothing, nothing important. Um, so, 
with this, I can still slide a step ladder up in the truck. I can still slide some eight foot, probably even maybe some 10 foot stuff up in the truck with a tailgate down. If I need to haul something, I don't want to take a trailer with me. Uh, I still got the option to do that with the other box. Uh, that was probably going to be a challenge, and I'm certainly not going to want to take that box in and out all the time with all the stuff I'm going to have in it because you're not going to be able to, two people are not going to be able to pick it up and get it out of there without skinning it up and the truck up and all that. And now you say, well, you say you didn't care. You dinged the truck up. I don't do it on purpose, but I, I work out of it, and it just happens. So anyway, I'm here at Little Caesars. I got to pick up a couple of pizzas for tonight, and uh, I'll check back with y'all. All right, so there's nothing wrong with asking for discounts, man. Nothing wrong with it. So, uh, you know. So I went ahead and mounted it right there in the parking lot. I didn't put the little strips under it because on my truck, I've got that bed liner that wraps over. Uh, I may go back and add them strips, but I didn't want it sliding around all back there, you know, on the way home. So I just went ahead and snugged it down real quick. Um... I may run down to my buddy's shop and build me a tray to go in there. I don't know. I'm thinking about that. I need to, you know, I I can build it. Uh, I'll take a I'll take a piece of plywood that goes in it, and then I'll just build me little little uh, compartments around it. And you know, I can build them like I want them. Uh, but however I build them, that's how they'll be. So. I may go down there and do that real quick tonight. I could do it at my shop, but y'all know what my shop looks like, so there's that. <laughs> uh, I like to get as many, I like to go in there as often as I can with a video camera because it'll generate comments. <laughs> uh, they were like, will not you clean up that nasty shop? Clean up that nasty shop, we might take you serious. Man, I don't need you to take me serious. I don't even take me serious. Now I got my toolbox on. Everybody will have to get used to the truck now. They'll be like, oh, that, no, that ain't Gerald. He, he don't have a toolbox on his truck. So, I ain't even told my wife yet. <laughs> uh, it don't really matter. That's out of the business account anyway. That's what it's for. It's for business, so. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get to the house. If I if I decide to do something with that, as far as making a tray or something for it, you know, I'll probably do a I'll probably do a little separate video for that. Uh, might give somebody some ideas or something if if you got this kind of situation. So uh, anyway, let me get off here, man. Appreciate y'all watching. My prayer for you is always the same that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great great 